Mickey Bear. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tal Flare Mouse. Today we have another very unusual 12 gauge projectile from Tim Hamilton, the ballistic machinist, that he calls the Disco Slug. This complex shape is made out of solid copper and was made on a 5 axis milling machine. I have two links in the description, one showing how these were made and another link showing Tim testing these for the first time. Because this slug has such a small surface area, just that one little flat area, it was really important to come up with a way to spread the 12,000 PSI pressure across as much of that slug as possible. This was resolved by fabricating these custom support wads made out of wet toilet paper. When this toilet paper mache wad dries out, it's very lightweight, but also very strong and can handle the high pressure loads. I loaded these with the intent to get the velocity to around 1700 feet per second and we will chronograph a couple of them. So let's get out to the range and see how these actually perform. Welcome back Top Flader folks. Jeff and Officer Greg out here with you on a beautiful sunny California day. Uh, we just been hanging out, just been smoking Indos, I've been sipping on gin and juice. So we thought <laughs> we would get together and uh, shoot some of these. Well, these little disco rounds that Tim Hamilton from the Ballistic Machinist sent. Just going to show you a little bit more of a close-up, but these are some very intricate little rounds. About a half an ounce each, out of copper, pure copper. And, uh, god dang it, they've got a lot of angles and cuts and holes and looks like some kind of spaceship. I thought they looked like maybe like a, a satellite from a 70s TV show or it looks something. like a 70s lamp or something yeah like yeah have it's, little... it's, 70s was a horrible it was a horrible it, for everything. I hated the 70s for everything it was just dismal and, and drab Disco, and it was the era of melees per uh, per uh, Jimmy Carter so yeah anyway we're gonna give these things they're very lightweight so we're gonna give them a try against some various targets as you might be able to uh, read here um, we expect a lot of damage out of this jug of water and then we've got some ballistic, uh, whatever, Kevlar behind it that we're going to uh, try and capture these rounds too. We want to see if they deform or if they're uh, in perfectly usable shape again. So. He spent so much time machining them, I want to try to capture as many as I can, you know? Yeah, that's a lot of work. And by the way, Tim's not going to be selling these, so don't uh, plan on buying these for your next pig hunt. Oh, I should mention, you know, go check out his channel. He's starting to post new stuff, and he's he told me he's going to try to come up with a new weird design once a month. Oh, wow. Whether that's true or not, you got to do it, Tim. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, swing by the Ballistic Machinist here on YouTube and uh, tell him that Jeff sent you over. So. And also, there's the place where he's working at called Pioneer Cuts has a new YouTube channel Whoa. and gives you a lot of tips on machining, and, and he actually shows you how he machined these on a this crazy five axis milling machine That's cnc a lot of thing. Accesses. yeah all in one without re uh chucking it up or whatever just all it, oh, it was, it's, it's crazy it's best not to up chuck when you're cutting your axes <clears throat> so enough yapping <laughs> yes. let's get down to it and see what these will do <laughs> test number one i'm ready It actually was a lot of damage. I wasn't expecting that much. Sure. A lot more damage than I expected. Jeff finally found our slug. Yeah, it, it kind of collapsed on those little holes that went through the center. Just from hitting water. Yeah, and, and then in plowing into a vest. Although the round hit high and left, it made a lot of damage. But I think it's now going to be watertight with our new Swifty Flex Seal self-adhesive stickers <laughs> you can you could fix them you got a flat tire yeah throw that on there yeah i shot a boat fix your boat with a it, it actually has phil swift's dna built into it <laughs> well that's fun <laughs> isn't it yeah i always like to have another guy's dna somewhere on my hand <laughs> so, <laughs> i didn't tell you that before <laughs> so um if you haven't already seen them be sure and go over and check out the uh, flex seal videos there's a couple of them here on top later mouse I'm sure you're gonna like them. The company like actually company. liked our videos. Yeah. They 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 were really and they sent these stickers they to us. They sent out these cool <laughs> little press kits. They were so impressed with that video. So. That's right. Yeah, we shot a boat in half, <laughs> and uh, and we lost a good moose in the product in the process. <laughs> so swing over there and take a look at them if you have not seen them yet. Thank you. 
on the blue heart. Yeah. Okay. Are you over the chrono? On the Bitcoin. Yep. Right over the chrono. Okay. I'm ready. 1670. What's your excuse on that one? Well, <laughs> I was a little high with this round. It went a little bit above the heart here, but that's not bad. Plunged into our lead plate. Yeah, for a test round that's that's flying all over the place. Yeah. So it plowed into the uh, lead plate, and we found it just out in front, three, four feet in front of the. This thing is hot as hell, so I'm not trying to hold it still. Wow. All smashed up. Jeez. Again, collapsed on those little circles, on the little uh, holes that he's drilled into the center. Yeah. It's almost like the top wants to stay together and the bottom wants to stay together, but like a, like a you, hamburger. You were taking a test or something? Oh, no, these, are, these are license plates oh. from uh, oh, okay. work today. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, yep, all smashed up and hot. All right, our next target is some uh, Mississippi ballistic gel. We have them labeled one, three, and two for some reason there, Jeff. Is, that, is there a reason behind I can't that? count. <laughs> Evidently, you're from Mississippi. Oh, okay. So, one, two, and three. I apologize, all Mississippi Ians. All, all right. We're going to run it through and see if it'll. Well, pretty it's sure. actually incredibly tough to pen penetrate that because there's just thousands of layers of paper. Right. It's, it's two ply. So, it's 2,000 layers of paper. Well, there you go. And then we're going to try and capture it back here in this uh, soft body. If hole. it makes it through. Yeah. When we tested 22, it wouldn't go through there. It. it, it it but stopped are, in like the second roll. Yeah, these are half an ounce of copper, and they're flying at uh, what, Over, 1670? Yeah, something so, like that. Yeah. So we're uh, we're expecting. Well, I'm expecting we'll get through most of them. We'll see. I think so. We'll I'm, I'm thinking it 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 won't, but regardless, it should I'm make some cool confetti. Time. It'll make cool confetti. No That's matter. true. The most scientific of tests it takes a lot of power to up. Just poke your finger through it. Yes, it does. <laughs> he says from experience. I, yes. <laughs> okay. Um, whenever you're ready. Here we go. Confetti. I think he hit it. 1686. Not super accurate yet. No, uh, the last ones were high. We had a high and left, we had a high and center. This one went low and right. And tore right through the first uh, roll here. Tore right through the second roll, but at an angle. And tore through the side of the third roll. If you, look, it if you look right More here. or less. <laughs> Wait, I didn't get that. Oh. That's something you don't want to find in your roll of Charmin when you open a package right there. <laughs> That could be inconvenient. Yes. So, essentially, it did make it through three rolls, not through the thickest part, but it made it through three rolls of paper. So I, I don't know. I'm pretty you confident. Decide. I'm pretty confident if that was in the center of those three rolls, that it would have still made it through. I think so. Yeah. It still had a lot of power back here on number three. Look, it's shredding all that. Yeah, we didn't find that one. And we did make a lot of confetti, like we expected. That one did hit the vest, and then must have glanced off somewhere. So we were unable well, to you know, recover. You know that. what we need. A metal detector. Or a thermal gun. If you only had an what about an heat seeking gun. If we had an x ray machine, we could yes, x ray this x -ray whole area and find it. I don't know if you guys know this, but this is not actual science. It's just kind of like. This <laughs> Shut <science>. up! <laughs> so it's, it's actual science. The fact that we don't find them, uh, just because Jeff labels it as an educational video on YouTube, <laughs> doesn't necessarily. Well, you do know that if you're ever hiding in a bathroom, don't duck behind toilet paper. But other than that, education. Got the uh, round center master in the face. Uh, in the face if you want. That's a clean area. I'm trying. Okay, I'm ready. Good Lord. I was aiming for the nose, hit him up here in the eye or near the eye. So they're uh, they're flying a little bit off target, but still got him in the face. So it's pretty good, pretty decent. At at bare defensive range bare too. Bare defensive range, right? So if you haven't met Doug, he's a little shorter than you thought. <laughs> Doug, uh, we're, Doug's wearing a little atomic defense helmet that they sent us. 
and we're going to try and put one of those rounds right here in the little PVC patch on the side of his helmet. See if that ballistic helmet will stop the disco round. You aim it for the patch, right? For the patch. Okay, I'm ready. I think you hit him in the ear. We both actually thought it hit here because I thought I saw yellow stuff flying around. Yeah. Maybe that was Kevlar fibers? I don't know. I don't know. I was aiming for the patch. And of course, the round's always about two inches off, whether it's high or low, it's always been it's, yeah. slightly, slightly off. Uh, so it hit right through this uh, secure mounting system. It's got to have a system on it if you're going to charge this much. So if we take Doug's helmet off and we look inside, remove this little patch and the little comfort pads in here. We see that it bulged out the inside of the... I can't see. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can see that it bulged out. No one out. can see. Greg? It bulged out the inside of the helmet there. Okay. But it did not pass through. I think it would have given... It would have oh, caved his head in, maybe? Oh, yeah. yeah, you'd have a, a migraine for an hour or so. Uh, or, be like a hard night of drinking. Yeah. So it's in there somewhere, right? Yep, it's definitely stuck in there if you want it. I'll let you take this thing home. It, it technically, it stopped it stopped the disco round. It did. Is it rated for disco rounds though? Um, no, so it went beyond the rating. <laughs> disco round is like level four. Oh. And this, I think, is rated for level three. Okay, will he? Can he hit Bill oh, Swift with that thing? <laughs> of course, if you hit, it's just going to deflect because it's got Bill Swift's DNA in there. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure that's not Danny Aiello? Well, okay, I'm ready. All right, here we go. Here we go. Hit uh, Phil Swift right here in the forehead, made a lot of damage right there. But how do you how do you fix how do you fix something well, like that? What you do is you take the uh, Flex Seal liquid rubber sealing coating from the family of products, and you Flex Seal right over the top of it. <laughs> and it's good for another bowling game. So I, I fixed this bowling pin. Had a lot of damage. Anyway, that was the first one that came out pretty accurate. So people always ask what our different rounds are going to be like when used for bear defense. So today we brought you, first time on YouTube, teddy bear frozen in ice, right? It's Alaskan, <laughs> Alaskan ballistic jelly. Sorry, Chuck from Alaskan <laughs> ballistic. Oh, wow. whoa. <laughs> Now that's a lot of damage. So we were aiming at his face, at least what I could see from the face through the ice. We actually hit him right there in the left eye. We found the uh, little disco slug on the other side in the vest. It went through his head and out the back. Wow. Everybody wants to see this right here. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, flew out the back and caught in the vest. So busted the ice apart. You never know what kind of targets you're gonna see here on Top Later Mouse. That's right. But frozen bears, if you're ever in Alaska, hunting frozen bears, that 70s round is for you. That's Just disco round. That's amazing. Okay, get a, get a close up of that, get of the here. slug. Oh, okay. Slug. Almost, almost ripped his head slug off. Slug and bear. Well, that's it. That's all the rounds. So, nope. yeah, you saw all the rounds. You shot them through. We shot them through soft targets, hard targets, lead targets, water targets, and you saw how they acted. And we got to see some that are all smashed up, so we know what they're going to do 
when they hit. These are not for sale, and they're not for uh, they're not recommended against bears. <laughs> go get yourself an actual 12 gauge round if you've got a bear problem. Other than that, that's about all we got. Appreciate you guys stopping by. Don't you have a channel? You almost oh. have 50,000 subscribers. I know, I'm almost up to 50,000. If you guys would go over and click on the little the subscribe button. If I could figure out how to put an end card with your channel on there, I'll try to do you that. You can actually do a link, yes. But um, I am, I'm, catch, I'm gaining on Jeff. Yeah, he's get, he's catching up. 50,000 in one year. That's pretty uh, good. I've, it took I've, me like five years to get there. Yeah, well, it's only because people saw it here, actually. Well, so, yeah. They like you. But yeah, if you want to see, I'm uh, working on a... Uh, a a review of the uh, the new Smith and Wesson Shield Plus right now, and we just got some road safety tip video out, and uh, there's another one that's testing some nine millimeter pistol accuracy. So if you like that kind of thing, swing by, have a couple of laughs, uh, bring some beers when you come by, and <laughs> check out OG's Danger Show. All right, until the next time, you guys be safe out there, and we will see you on the next video. <laughs>